Hey guys, welcome into my channel. If you're new here, my name is Carrie. Today I wanna to go over all the stuff that I hauled for the Sephora VIB sale. So did I buy more than I thought I was going to? Definitely. Did I buy things that I didn't need? Totally. Did I get things that I didn't think I was gonna pick up? For sure. But here we are. I have this pretty small box from Sephora that just arrived today. A little disappointing. I think the price tag was bigger than the box was. But nevertheless, let's go through what I hauled. I thought it would be fun to just sit down and kind of do this on camera. So the first thing that I placed was the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Apple Honey Mask. This isn't a new release, but I think that they brought this back. I think Briogeo had released this once before and for holiday or just recently, they released it again for like a limited time only. And I really enjoy the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair, Repair Conditioner. And I did use it today. I've been using Using it I really really love it. it's like my favorite conditioner right now and when I did a new makeup releases Monday and I saw that this had come out on trend mood ones page on Instagram I was like no I like Briogeo but I'm not in the market for another hair mask I'm using one right now by it's a 10 and it's great it's fantastic it makes my hair so soft I wish I could use it every day but they say like only like one to two times a week I think and because I love the Briogeo conditioner so much I thought you know what this is only like limited time only or limited edition I'm to get my hands on it before it's gone so i'm actually really excited to try this i think the packaging is just adorable it's really cute it's not like i need something cute and a little like teddy bear to sit in my bathroom but i picked it up i think the quality is going to be really good on it i'm excited to try that next product that i picked up is like a skincare item this is from youth to the people it's the super berry hydrate and glow dream mask this mask is so good i love youth to the people products i use their face wash it's like the only one that I use. I did try this mask, I think it was like a year ago, and it was just in a trial size. It was the best mask I've ever used before. When I put this on at night and I woke up in the morning, my face felt so plump and hydrated. It was the weirdest sensation. It actually felt like it did something. I haven't tried any other mask that's given me that same effect. And I've had this in my loves list on Sephora for a really long time, but I have so many masks that I didn't place the order to purchase this and just kept it in my loves list because I've been trying to work through those. And I thought, okay, well, now that there's, you know, the sale, I'm gonna go ahead and get it. I did just get like the small size. They do sell, I believe, like a bigger size of this, but I just picked up the smaller one. I'm not sure why I did that. It takes me a long time to actually get through product. I don't go through it that quickly. So a big one, I just didn't think I needed in addition to everything else that I had. This one is 0.5 ounces. And what this says is, don't just sleep, dream. This award-winning overnight mask deeply hydrates, plumps, and brightens while you sleep. Antioxidant-rich super berries, THD, scorbate, vitamin C, squalene, hyaluronic acid, revive dehydrated skin, and target dullness for softer glowing skin by morning like fantastic like it really really did the trick it did such a good job i don't have any other mask like i said that does anything like that so i'm really excited to get that it also comes with a little sampler which is the dream eye cream I haven't tried that so i am excited to try that i just love youth to the people products all right let's move on into the makeup so the first thing that i picked up was from iconic london it was their super smoother blurring skin tint this one is in the shade neutral light I know this is a fairly new release and it also comes with the super smoother primer, which I didn't pick up. I just, I have so many primers and I don't use primers that often that I was like, nah. And I'm a foundation skin tint junkie. So I did want to pick this up. This cap is very reflective. This is like such a little tiny bottle. It was a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. What? Oh, it's still one fluid ounce with a 12 month shelf life. And I haven't tried anything other than like one bronzer, I think from Iconic London. All right. Let's just put this on, Oh, It's actually quite a bit thicker than I thought it was gonna be for a skin tint. I just kinda wanna see like what coverage it's gonna give me. Okay, so that actually looks really, really dark. Like it's gonna be way too dark for me, but it has a lot more coverage than I thought it was going to have. It's quite a bit of coverage for like a blurring skin tint, but now I'm really scared because this is not at all like my skin tone. And what shade is this in again? Neutral light. 
okay <laughs> that's usually what i get this looks really really deep for my skin tone but maybe i'm dragging it all the way down my neck we'll see when i put it on i think i have seen a couple of people say that the super smoother blurring primer is really good but i don't know if i've heard anything on the skin tint so excited to try that the next thing that i picked up was the house labs bio blurring loose setting powder this is in the shade translucent I have the foundation. I like the foundation. I think that the finish is very nice on the foundation. It's like a medium weight formula, so it works well on my skin. It doesn't like sink into fine lines. It has a really natural looking finish, but what I've heard about this powder is that it's fantastic. And I have heard it from some people who have like skin, similar skin types as me. And so when I picked up the foundation, I was like, no, nah, I'm not gonna try the powder. Like, I don't know anything about it yet. I'm so finicky when it comes to powders. I don't wanna waste my money. I don't want it to be something that's just not gonna work for me. But then I saw like people testing it out and I've been seeing the reviews on it. And I'm like, okay, it looks really, really good. So here's the packaging, it has the big H on top has one of these nets that catches like the powder and i'm not usually like into swatching powders but i'm actually excited to like dig into this a little bit it is so soft it's like a little pillow like it is soft let's swatch it and see if it looks like extra dry or not it feels so good on my skin it's like baby powder is kind of what it feels like just very soft and hydrating and it has like a very, very light scent to it, but it's like sweet, it smells really good. And this net is like the thinnest net I've ever seen in like a powder compact before. It's very, very soft. This, this is literally how I feel about it right now. Like I'm gonna put it on. Oh, it's kind of brightening too. That's nice. I don't like detect it on my skin. I don't feel it. Some powders instantly, I kind of feel like they're drying and you can feel them. Oh, I had some powder on, now I have more on. That feels really good actually. It is made in Italy and has an 18 month shelf life. Next thing that I picked up was another foundation. This is from Merit. This is the Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Stick. I have tried the Merit Stick Bronzer and I really liked it. I think this had really, really good reviews. So I had had my eye on it for a second and then I wasn't really gonna get it. And then with the sale, of course, I was like, all right, I'm getting it now. So here's the packaging and here is the applicator. I think it just twists up. Yeah, it sure does. All right, let's swatch this guy. Hmm. All right, let's blend it in. It's definitely a creamier stick formula. I think the shade match is probably gonna be pretty good. When I first put it on, I thought it looked a little bit yellow, but maybe it isn't. It feels like a much more like hydrating formula than I'm used to with stick foundations. So hopefully it doesn't look too cakey on me. I'm a little bit nervous with this, like I said. So this one is actually only 0.23 ounces. Interesting. So it is clean, vegan, cruelty-free, has a 12 month shelf life, recycled packaging. And this one was made in South Korea. And this one is in the shade Silk, if you're curious. Hopefully that works for me. I've been terrible at matching shades to myself lately. I don't know, I wanted to give this a shot because I did see really, really good reviews on this and I have not had like a ton of luck with stick foundations in the past. And actually I'm kind of hoping that this one redeems the stick foundations for me. We shall see. Okay, the next product that I have is from Nude Sticks. This is one of their cream blushes. It's the Nudies Matte All Over Face Blush Color. And this one is in the shade In The Nude. It is for face, lip, and eye. I've never tried anything from Nude Sticks. And I just hear really good things about this formula. I think just in their matte blushes. And so I really, really wanted to get this, even though I have so many in my collection, but I like cream matte, formulas, I like stick blushes. I had moved this to my loves list at some point. So I said, okay, we're gonna pull the trigger. So here's the packaging on this. It comes in this like tin case. My husband already saw this and said, um, can I have the tin when you're done? <laughs> so this is gonna go to him. Let's swatch this blush. So it does have like the brush on one end, which a lot of people don't use, but at least with this brush, it's actually a little bit smaller. So it fits into the cap a little bit better without kind of hitting the sides, but I don't think any of us are gonna use it anyway. Here is the color on that. Let's swatch it. It's stiff formula for sure. It's not like overly creamy, but it's nice and pigmented. So that is that one. There was a new brand that moved into Sephora recently, and I don't know if these are exactly like new launches or this is an existing brand and these are existing 
parts of like their line. They just recently moved into Sephora, but I think that they're new releases. And the brand is called Simi Hayes. So I actually picked up four different products from them and all of their packaging looks very like minimalistic, very like recycled cardboard, very nice. They are like definitely heavier products. This one is the Solar Tint Blush Duo. So it's actually two cream blushes, one with a matte finish and one with a dewy finish. And this one is in the shade Tropic. So it's definitely heavy packaging. It kind of looks like a hockey puck a little bit. It has this imprint in here and I'm not sure what that is or like if it's supposed to stand for something. I have no idea, but that is on all of the packages. So this reminds me of like Lucite, like maybe an old Lucite like napkin ring. What am I thinking of? Like, you know, your grandma used to have Lucite. That's kind of what this feels like. I don't think that it is, but I mean, it definitely feels like it. And it's, it's weighted for sure. And it's a magnetic closure. And here is the inside. So I'm assuming that this is the dewy cream blush and then this is the matte cream blush. This texture on the matte side is so interesting close up. Like if hopefully you can see that. There is like a little hair in this cream one. Like I just opened it. There's like this little tiny hair in there and I kind of tried to like get it out, but it's not coming unless I like really dig into the product. So that's a little disappointing. Let's swatch it. So this is this this side right here is not very emollient. Like it has a little bit of slip to it, but it's kind of a harder formula. It seems like it would almost be a little bit more sheer than it would be like really, really pigmented. Let's swatch it. Yeah, see how sheer it looks? It just dips back into it. It's very sticky, but it's a more sheer formula. I don't know that it has like the best base in the world, but it does say like a dewy finish. So let's dip into the matte side. I'll just dip my finger in here. Yeah, this texture is so much different. This feels like a cream to powder finish, which is what I think they mean by matte. So let's swatch it next to this one. Oh, much more pigmented. Yeah, yeah. I actually like this concept. I like having like a duo blush that has one dewy and one matte finish. I actually think that's that's pretty cool. I don't know how much use I'm gonna get out of the dewy one. It seems like a pretty slippy, pretty sheer formula. And I, I think that I like this kind of formula a little bit better, but I will definitely be testing both of them out. Let's move on into the next product. So this is the Sun Flush All Over Tint, same packaging. So here's the inside packaging. It definitely looks like two little marshmallows stacked on top of each other. There is that same like imprint up here and this twists off. So this I think is a cheek tint and a lip tint. It does have like a little tiny doe foot applicator. Okay, so the directions say, dab the serum-like formula on lips, cheeks, and eyes, then lightly tap in for a healthy glow. Okay, so it's a serum-like finish. Let's swatch this. That's much more pigmented than the sheer side of the cream blush in the compact. This one is in the shade Peach, I believe, yes. Let's kind of rub it in and see. Oh, that's beautiful. I think that's really nice. I think that's really pretty. I don't know that I would use this for my lips or eyes. I think I got it with the intent of like using it as like a liquid blush. So maybe I use this in like a testing new makeup video coming up. Okay, so the next one is a Velvet Blur. This is a matte lip balm. I saw good reviews on this one, so that's why I wanted to pick this up. It's a little bit of a smaller compact, two stacked green marshmallows with the imprint on top. And this one actually just kind of pulls off. And here is the balm. So very interesting like concept rounding it instead of it being like the normal or traditional style bullet lipstick. Let's swatch this one as well. So even though it says it's matte, I think it's like one of those satin finishes because of it's like a matte balm it feels like a satin lipstick i i think it has like a really good amount of pigmentation i don't know if i would necessarily call it like a balm in the sense of like what i think of when i think of a balm i just think this is kind of like a cream or whipped satin formula so it feels good the reviews were nice and i like this shade so this isn't like a super strong magnetic closure it i mean it is but it's kind of a hefty top and so you know it definitely feels like because you have this like ring here that it might kind of easily just come off but 
Anyway, also excited to try this. No, gonna just try it right now. Why wait? We're playing. <laughs> Do I look silly with this, like, <laughs> packaging here of lying my lipstick? Like, I feel silly holding, like, a marshmallow to my mouth. This is kind of like a your lips but better color for me. That's exactly what it feels like. A satin finish bullet lipstick. And it's very similar shade to like my natural lips. So I think it was a good one. It feels very creamy and comfortable. Yeah, there's nothing overly drying about this. It's very nice, very creamy. I mean, my lip lines might show cause it's, you know, technically like a matte, but it has a slip to it. So it feels really good. This is definitely a higher, like a pricier brand. So I have high hopes for these products. And the last product that I picked up from them is the Easy Lash. I think this is the Clean Lift Mascara. It's kind of this matte black packaging. And I believe this is a tubing mascara. So it's one of those plastic bristle wands. We will see how this performs. There's not much else to say about it other than it's a tubing mascara. I'm into tubing mascaras right now. So that was it. That was everything that I hold for the Sephora Via B cell. That is it for me today, guys. I hope you're having a tremendous day wherever you are, whatever day it is, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.